Do you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, Sophie God? Is mercury toxic? Elemental mercury is toxic. Silver amalgam fillings, does it contain mercury? It does. Almost up to 50%? Yes. Mercury is a toxic substance. A lot of us have dental amalgams that contain mercury. Anywhere from 4 to 19 micrograms of mercury per day can leach out of your amalgams into your body. These amalgams release mercury vapor, which is well over 100 to 600 times higher than what the ADA estimates. 80% of it that you breathe in collects in your body. So you not only have a toxin that can do the effect, you have it placed within inches of your brain. A single filling delivers micrograms of mercury, which in mercury terms is a lot. Mercury is vaporizing from the amalgams, and you have 80% absorption through the lungs. This is a fairly dangerous scenario. If you're exposed to mercury chronically for a long period of time, then we start seeing much more serious health effects. Uh, these health effects would be damage to the central nervous system, fatigue, irritability, being very emotional, memory loss, shyness, blushing, tingling or tremors in your hands, tingling and shooting pains in your feet, anorexia. You may have gingivitis, you may have some serious respiratory problems. Uh, there are just a lot of really serious health problems associated with chronic exposure. When a woman is pregnant, we hope that she's never exposed to mercury vapor because we know that it can pass the placenta and cause neurological problems in the unborn baby. If you're exposed to mercury, we start seeing much more serious health effects. Uh, these health effects would be chronic fatigue, double vision, couldn't sleep, depression, panic attacks, memory loss, a lowered immune system, loss of vision, chronic headaches. It is both an immediate problem in some individuals and a very long-term problem in others. I started having neurological symptoms. I didn't feel like a human being. In the deepest part of myself, I thought I was dying. People think you're crazy, and, and you're not crazy. You have mercury poisoning. Every human body has a genetic predisposition to handle toxicity a certain way. And there's a very strong biological reason for this. And it comes down to the individual's susceptibility. Most of this is genetic susceptibility. Certain people will get sick, will have symptoms at much lower levels of exposure than other people. They've never done any safety studies on this product. Why is it that the ADIA will not tell the public that mercury amalgam is harmful? This is an amalgamator. This is the instrument that's going to mix the mercury with the other ingredients to form the amalgam filling. Keep in mind that we're taught in dental school that once they combine, the mercury becomes relatively inert at that point. So let's try this. Ten micrograms is generally considered inhabitable. They, they shouldn't be living there without some kind of respiratory protection and the cleanup goal to make sure everything is completely removed to the point where it can never pose a threat to anyone, even small children with health problems, is 0.3 micrograms. Dental schools ought to be fearful of major lawsuits because this is not a secret anymore. You can see it coming out. I mean, the exposure to mercury to those people is just tremendous. Okay, so to recap, a freshly made amalgam filling is off-gassing huge amounts of mercury vapor that exceed OSHA safety limits. And it makes total sense. Remember the amalgamator violently shaking the amalgam capsule back and forth? Well, that shaking was creating friction, thus creating heat which is the last thing you want to do with elemental mercury. Why? Because the more you heat elemental mercury, the more mercury vapor it releases. It's simple science. This large exposure of mercury to the patient is one of the reasons why I decided to become a mercury safe dentist 23 years ago. Unfortunately, dental schools all across the country incorrectly teach students that the mercury is contained within the amalgam, thus putting them and dental patients at risk.